what it is. Welcome to another episode of In a Timely Fashion. It's your boy, Devon, a.k.a. Joe Flyden. Yes, we out here, baby. Uh, new location. You know, I uh, had to take a little trip out the city. Had to get out get out of the city. It was getting a little too warm. But um, nonetheless, man, got a, got a good week for you. We're going to keep it real simple. Fashion news, sneaker releases, nothing too crazy. Uh, got some, some cool things, you know, with things opening up. They got events back popping. Um, so definitely, definitely gonna, gonna look, I'm looking forward to what's coming into the, uh, for the weekend. And then I'm, I'm looking forward to show y'all what I got going on uh, next week. But uh, this week, like I said, seen some, some cool sneaker stories, some cool uh, fashion stories. Uh, We're gonna get right into it. But as always, you already know what I need y'all to do before we start anything. I need you to like and subscribe. Take a second to like and subscribe. Take a second. Second taken. Cool. All right. And now I need y'all to sit back, relax, and take get some of this dope. Get ready to know. Dag, I feel like you set that whole thing up. You gotta move it. <laughs> Okay, okay, we're here for another week of sneaker releases. Uh, we're gonna get, just get right into it. We got the, uh, first up we have Rick Owens Dark Shadow by Converse Turbo Dark Chuck 70 Collection. This is coming out uh, July 27th. And um, I don't need these to come out, they need to stay in. These are not in. It's got the long tongue, um, I guess I would call these the list. Got a long tongue, because uh, there's this, this a lot going on. I'm cool on these. You know, I get it. We're going innovative, or whatever the case may be. But these are not it. You got the square toe. Yeah, I'm cool. But nonetheless, if you rock out with them, they come out July 27th, cop up if you can. Moving right along, we have Undercover by Nike Dunk High, 1985. Jim Red, Jim Red, and uh, this, this doesn't look just like the classic uh, dunk, but um, I'm going to assume the cut is from a 1985 dunk that came out, because of the 1985 dunks, and hmm, I don't know how I feel about this, this high cut on it, uh, it's interesting, but these come out July 28th, $150. Uh, I'm not the I'm not the biggest fan of the colorway, but this 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 cut of the dunk is interesting. I would have to see these in person before I make full on judgment about it. Uh, yeah, but these are these are dunks from uh, 1985, and they just rebought it out undercover. Shout out to them. Cop up if you can. Cop up if you can. Under fifty dollars, July 28th. Moving right along, we have Jaden Smith. By New Balance Division Racer. It's been a minute, but they came out with the uh, Trippy Summer Pack. Um, and that 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 soul, man, that, that, that soul is just so thick. I'm cool on the thick soles, but I'm not bad at these colors, man. Got nice colors. These come out July 28th, 150 in the bags. Uh, we have a, a purple orange with a green situation. And we have like a, a teal blue, I guess like a pink. Um, interesting colors fun colors to play with uh, it's, it's that summery feel so you know the summer pack you already know how it go but uh if you mess with them cop up cop up if you can moving on we got the highly sought after fragment design by Travis Scott by Air Jordan 1 man it's been they've been talking about this for months now they're finally dropping it July 29th July 29th $200 uh, you will only be able to get these at the Travis Scott web store. Uh, and I'm going to assume that they're going to do another release for them on Sneakers app. But right now, just coming out on Travis Scott store. And uh, like I said, July 29th, $200. They have the, the turn backwards check, as all the Travis Scott ones have. Uh, I like this blue. I'm not going to lie. I like this blue. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool on 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 a, on a one 
Um, but nonetheless, if I was able to get my hands on them, I wouldn't be mad. But I'm not paying resale for these. I'm cool. But the, the blue is just a dope blue. I really do like the blue of this. Uh, the backwards check is not really my thing, but I get it. It's cool. People gonna go crazy because the resale is gonna be bonitos. It's gonna be bonitos. Uh, but nonetheless, cop up if you can. Probably can't, but cop up if you can. <laughs> Moving on, we have another uh, crazy release. We have the Ambush by Nike Dunk High Flash Line. Now, Ambush been dropping these dunks crazy all year, all year. Um, and this Lime situation, I'm a fan of Lime Green. These come out July 30th, $180. I like this color, man. I like this color. With the Lime Green situation. These would be dope for women. I can see a lot of women in the smaller sizes that probably look dope on. Uh, would I copy for myself? Mm. I would. I would rock out. I could rock these. I can do some things with these. But uh, at first hand, at first glance, I mean, that, that dunk silhouette is interesting. It's interesting. You know. But nonetheless, I like that color green. But these come out July 30th. $180. Mess with them. I don't want to see anybody that cop these to put on a lime green shirt and lime green, everything else to match these. I just don't let the sneakers talk. If you get these, let the sneakers talk, please. So, moving right along. Moving on, we have Nice Kicks by Asics Gel Light 3 Nice Cream. Um, Asics, man, they, they, you know, they, they always come out with the classic gel light joints. I like this color. I'm not mad at this color. Um, I like the mint laces, the mint with this uh, cream uh, color, I like it, I like it. These come out July 30th for 130 of them things, 130 of them things. This is, a, this is a collab with the ice cream parlor, ice cream parlor, that's why they call it the nice cream. I seen what you did there, I seen what you did there, but um, yeah, yeah, these are actually alright, I'm not mad at these. We'll definitely cop up on these joints. But if you mess with them, cop up if you can. Next we have Para by Nike SB Dunk Low. Para by Nike SB Dunk Low. Abstract art. Abstract art. These drop July 31st, $110. Yeah, man. I'm not mad at these. This gives me a real different world type of vibe. It's remind me of like different world, the intro. This is fun, vibrant, I can have fun with this. Yeah, July 31st, $110. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna mess with these, I'm mess with these. I'm pretty sure they're gonna go crazy. But uh, nonetheless, cop up if you can. Cop up if you can. <sighs> Next we have the uh, j j j j Jound by Doc Martens Archie 2. Uh, this is just regular shoes. They come out, this come out uh, July 31st. Simple Doc Martin, clean brown, nice dress up situation. Yeah, I'm not that mad at these. I don't know if it's brown or black. Yeah, I think, I think there's two colors. Yeah, dark brown crazy horse and a black Wyoming. Uh, interesting names. But um, yeah, the brown and the black, I, I can't be mad at this. This is a, a clean shoe. Uh, the brown ones definitely go. I like the brown ones. Nonetheless, July 31st, these are dropping. That Doc Martin, top up if you can. Moving on, we have the Sakai by Nike Blazer Low Iron Gray. Iron Gray, these come out July 31st, $120. And uh, I'm super cool with this. Super cool on these. I, I never was a fan of the low top Sakai Blazers. Not really a fan of those cop blazers, period. Um, I can see people going crazy over these. Like, like I said, it's just an iron gray situation. These are basic. I'm cool. Got the double check situation. I'm cool on these. July 31st, $120. $120. Uh, we're going to wrap it up with... We're going to wrap up sneaker releases. Notice I didn't talk about one sneaker, but I can't talk about a sneaker release week without talking about this one sneaker. So of course I gotta end it with 
Adidas Yeezy Day. Adidas Yeezy Day 2021, August 2nd in the US and August 3rd for global. Uh, so basically, what, what, what are rumored to drop? They haven't confirmed it, but the rumor, they're rumored to drop Yeezy 700 V3 Dark Glow, Yeezy Foam Runner MX Cream Clay, and uh, they're supposed to restock on the Yeezy Boost 700 Wave Runner. You know, those went crazy when they first came out, so they're restocking on some Yeezys and bringing out some new colorways. Uh, but um, apparently, you want to be a part of Yeezy Day 2021. August 2nd for the US, August 3rd for Europe, for the global. Uh, so if you're a Yeezy fan, cop up if you can. Cop up if you can. But that's how we're wrapping up sneaker releases. And uh, as always, if you cop up on anything, please hashtag close down. I would like to see some of your outfits. And if you uh, if you just want to DM some of your outfits or whatnot, you know, follow me on Instagram and just DM your boy. Uh, also, let me see, uh, leave some in the comments. Let me see what were some of y'all favorite takes, favorite sneakers of this week. Where were y'all mad at? Or were y'all more mad at? You know. Uh, nonetheless, you already know. Moving right along. Right along. Okay. That's what we're Okay, okay, we getting into our fashion news for this week. Fashion news for this week. Man, it was a pretty interesting uh, week this week. Uh, let's go ahead right, right ahead and get into it, man. Um, I've seen something leak because we know Kanye West is bringing out the new album, Donda. Don't know when it's supposed to release. Had to listen to Party. Thought it was going to release on uh, on that last, on last Friday. Didn't release. But uh, they showed uh, a picture surface the Air Jordan 6 sample Donda, Air Jordan 6 Donda, um, never seen these, these are interesting, not really my thing, not really my thing, not really my thing, uh, but it's dope that he got a customized 6, I seen what he was doing here, honestly if he, if he did the whole Jordan 6 with that uh, floral design, they might have been all right. I think it's all in the details. I like the rolls on the back. I like the rolls on the back for sure. Yeah, it's all in the details with this. I'm not mad at these, but it's not really for me. It's not really my thing. But nonetheless, you know, cop that Donda whenever it dropped or whatever. Keeping it in Jordan, Jordan Brand and Eastside Golf Team has collabed on some golf sneakers. And I ain't gonna hold you. These are some dope, these are some dope golf sneakers. They got the fours. With the inspiration from the cement fours but it has the dark blue with the a golfing logo on it hey these are kind of cool man if they have the golf cleats on the bottom i will rock these if they come out with regular like as regular jordans with the regular sneaker bottom i will mess with these these are kind of cool not mad at these at all but these are definitely dope uh no release just yet of course but nonetheless it's dope it's dope Next in fashion news, uh, so I'm always talking about Salehi Benberry, man. Shout out to him. Shout out to Salehi. He's always doing his thing, collabing. He's collabed with uh, Anta, New Balance, a bunch of different people, Versace, whatever. And now he has a new collab coming out with Croc. Yes, Crocs. Crocs is uh, doing a collab with them. And uh, these are... These are not it, man. I'm cool on these. I'm just not a fan of Crocs. But if I had a choice, if somebody was to say, hey, I want to get you some Crocs, I would say get these. Uh, these are these are not these are not that these are not popping to me. But shout out to Slay Heat. I think it's dope that he did a different take on it too. He took a, a different look and design on it. I'm not mad at this. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, these are these are these are these are better than the Yeezy. Uh, phone runners or whatever you call it. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, these are not it. I'm cool. But nonetheless, it's something dope that he did with Croc. Um, I wanted to discuss uh, Young Thug. He graced the cover of Rolling Stone. And you know, anytime we talk Young Thug in fashion, it's always interesting. Yeah, uh, this cover is interesting. The colors are nice. Nice pink situation. 
or whatnot. Um, that that the shirt on the cover, the sweater separate probably actually would have been dope. The sweater separate probably would have been dope. I'm not gonna hold you. Uh, it's a lot going on here though. We're not even going to discuss the dreads and then the, the face diamonds. I'm not even going to talk about that. Uh, he has another pick in here. This coat. Again, these are good colors. I'm not going to lie. These are good colors. Not that big of a fan of the, the, the whole fit. But these are good colors, man. These are good colors. Yeah. I just thought that was interesting. Okay. My bad. I just thought that was interesting. And uh, colors are dope. I'm cool. If I had to pick one thing I like, it's the sweater, the cardigan that he has on in the very first picture um, with the cover. And to end off fashion news, Kyrie Irving, man, he put out a statement today on Twitter saying, this is, all right, so let me set it up. Let me set it up first. So there's a picture that leaked of some new Kyrie 8s that, that, that are coming out. And apparently, they just weren't in. And Kyrie took to, uh, no, he took to Instagram to say, I have nothing to do with this design or marketing of up, up and coming, upcoming Kyrie 8. In my opinion, these are trash. I have absolutely nothing to do with them. Nike plans to release it without my okay, regardless of what I say. So I apologize in advance to all my sneakerheads and true supporters of the Kai uh, 11 brand. So yeah, Kyrie do not approve of these. It's interesting that Nike are putting these out, even without him checking off on them. The sneaker has his name on it. Granted, they are Nikes. Nikes can do whatever they want. But come on, it's, it's his sneaker. Like, can he approve of something? Like, did y'all even send these to him? To be like, yo, what you think about these? And I ain't gonna hold you. These are trash. See, Kyrie said, I didn't have to say it. These are trash. But uh, nonetheless, don't cop up. Don't cop up. If you're a Kyrie supporter, don't cop these or whatever. Keep these moving whenever. And that's how we ending off the episode for this week. Thank you for watching. Uh, as always, I need you to follow me at Across the Board. Ah, fuck. And that's how we're going to wrap up to today's episode for this week. Um, and that's how we're going to wrap up this week's episode. I uh, appreciate y'all for watching. I got a lot of love on my episode last week with my mother. And shout out to Mom Duke. She came out and did her thing. Surprised a lot of people. She brought that energy. She brought that energy, man, for real. I definitely love her for it. We got to have her back up here. Everybody loved her. I uh, got, got a lot of compliments. They, they were like, Wait, we want her back. You know, so definitely, definitely shout out to moms. Love you. Um, but as always, as always, I need y'all to follow me on Instagram at Devon and Conquers. Also follow at Close Down and follow the other shows at Across the Board Show and follow at Board underscore Head underscore Thoughts. And uh, your boys can make you laugh. I'm kind of funny. So follow me at Devon's Kind of Funny. That's my comedy skit page. Please go check it out. I got another side to me. I like to make you laugh. Well, it's not really another side. I'll show y'all my comic side too. But whatever. Um, and your boy's doing TikToks. Your boy's doing TikTok at 386Divine. Hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm doing these TikToks. I'm doing these reels. I'm getting better at it. I'm going harder with it. And I'm, I'm posting them. So what I'm going to start doing is the outfits that I, I, I show on my TikTok and reels, I'm going to do breakdowns of them during the week. Uh, to show y'all videos to just kind of give details of the outfits that I've chosen and and just want to show you know show y'all how, how I go about putting together my fits you know because this fashion thing it's it, it, it can get real for me you know I'm really about I really do this and I just kind of want to break down how I go about it one of my reels got a lot of love I was styling um at kiss and makeup shout out to uh, Tanisha uh styled her you know I'm styling women out here too man they got a lot of love so go on my um Instagram and go on my TikTok and go check that out please please as always y'all already know how I gotta end it even though I just st said I style women I style the ladies it's still I'm not a stylist I'm just stylish you already know what it is holla at your boy one two Love can sort of feel like a plane crash First you high, then you caught up in the flames wrath Guess I was high off the fumes of the plane's gas The dynasty felt like Jay-Z and Dame Dash Now in church, staring at the stained glass Windows thinking how'd I get here, my insane ass Caught up in the 
chick that wasn't into me Feels like I was sleeping with the enemy Alzheimer's, you don't remember me Memories faded though, Hennessy sedated Overcome by the emptiness and I hate it All my time and energy was wasted Where my heart used to be, there is an icebox All I wanted was to try to make the fight stop You wouldn't compromise Why not? No team always want an eye like Cyclops